Okay, broadcast. So broadcast, we studied recursive doubling. So what was the cost? The cost was TS plus MTW times log P. Right? So this doesn't match the lower bound, right? The only lower bound I know is MTW, right, for broadcast. Why? Because the root has to send out all the data. Yeah? So this is the only lower bound I know, but this doesn't match this, right? This, this broadcast seems to be quite expensive because of doubling. So there was another algorithm I had discussed, right? A very simple algorithm that just do it in steps. First, zero sends to one, one forwards it to two and so on, right? So what is the cost of this algorithm? Does that match the lower bound? What was the cost? There are P minus one iterations. Each iteration has cost TS plus MTW, right? This is clearly not anywhere close to the lower bound, right? It's even worse than recursive doubling. Why? Well, that's log P times MTW. This is P times MTW. Yeah, not good. Okay, but I can do something which is used well in practice. And again, this is done for large messages. That is something called pipelining. Okay, I'm going to pipeline the data. So what am I going to do? So remember, this is large data we are dealing with right now, right? And I want to get a cost which is close to MTW. So I'm going to split the data into P parts. Yeah. So what is the size of each part? M by P. Right? Now what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to use the same algorithm, the chain algorithm, but with interleaving, with pipelining, right? Rather. So, 0, 1, 2, up to P minus 1. So what am I going to do in the first iteration? These parts, I'm going to call these 0 to P minus 1. These are the P parts, right? I've split the data into P parts. And in the first iteration, 0 is going to send one of these parts, let's say the 0th part, to node 1. That's it. That's the first iteration. I'm doing a broadcast from 0 to all the other nodes, remember, right? Second iteration, what am I going to do? Well, 1 is now going to forward this data to 2. And at the same time, 0 will send the next part to 1. And so on. So third iteration, 2, 1, 0, and so on, right? So what is the total number of iterations it will take? A little less, but you're almost there. Let's just look at it a little more carefully. When will the first part reach P minus 1? Well, at that time, P minus 1th part will be sent by 0, right? So this is the P minus 1th iteration. In the next iteration, what's going to happen? Well, Pth iteration, it's going to put the Pth part onto the, well, there is no Pth part, right? P minus 1th part is going to go here and the first part is going to reach the destination. So if you continue drawing this, right, you will realize that by the time you want P minus 1 to reach here, right, so that will be the 2P minus 2th iteration, okay, so 2P minus 2. So what is the cost? So this is the advantage of pipelining and pipelining is used very often in uh, algorithms. T is equal to, there are 2P minus 2 iterations. Each iteration, the cost is TS plus M by P TW, right? Just M by P data is being sent by every node or received. 2P minus 2 TS plus 2 M 1 minus 1 by P TW, right? That's the cost. And that asymptotically matches the lower bound, okay? Mm -hmm.